Welcome back. Governor Scott Walker has declared September as Fall Prevention Awareness Month, and it's for a good reason. Yeah, at first I thought that we could prevent fall in winter, but it's not the same kind of fall prevention. It's actually, according to the Department of Health and Safety, the death rate due to unintentional falls, as in slip and fall in Wisconsin, is twice the national average. That's right, right here. Mm -hmm. Also, 40% of those admitted to a nursing home had a fall within 30 days of arriving. Scary statistics. So joining us now is Sean Flanick of Walk-In Tubs of Wisconsin, which has a complete line of bathroom safety products to keep you safe at home. Hi, Sean. Hello, how you doing? Good to have you back. Thanks for having me back. I just had this conversation with a friend of mine yesterday. She, she had a little bit of water outside of her bathtub. She slipped, she fell, and she was just so thankful she didn't break a bone. And I think that's a really common thing for aging women and men. It's true. I mean, it's kind of a silent epidemic that's going around with our parents and grandparents. Yeah. They're, they're having trouble climbing in and out of the bath tub as it is and they really need some help in that area it's not something everyone talks about or realizes but it is there and it is real why do you think wisconsin has such a um, high rate yeah. of not just falls but falls that end up in death you know i'm not sure why just in wisconsin it ends up that way is it more um senior citizens living in the state possibly something like that but it's just a dangerous area that needs to be taken care of for the people in wisconsin for yeah. sure because so many of the falls happen at home right correct most of them do happen at home and most of them happen in the bathroom per se as well so so what's the number one thing people can do to make their their home or their bathroom safer the the best thing they can do is give me a call have me come out <laughs> take a look and really you know analyze their needs and see where you know what they need need to get in and out of that tub more safely? Is it a grab bar? Um, do they need a walk-in bathtub? Do they need a walk-in shower? Something al along that line, something to help them. There you go right there to see the bathtub, to get in safely, to be able to sit inside comfortably and safely climb in and out with the grab bars. Um, that's a modification of a tub there where we don't have to take out their whole tub and pull one in. We can modify the tub they have in their home so that they can get in and out safely. Grab bars are a big deal. Um, all three sides of the tub is a good place to have them if you're not going to modify the tub so you can hang on in any direction that you walk in or walk out of. So, mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting because I think a lot of people think of getting a tub like that as a luxury, but really it can be a necessity once they hit a certain age or they've had a fall or a scare like that, hopefully before you've had that happen. Mm -hmm. But it's truly something that people, it, it, it's easy to do. It doesn't take that long to change, and it's very cost effective, uh, especially if you're comparing it to doctor bills. But how long does it take to install a tub like that? If somebody says, you know what, I want to get it done for my mom, for my dad, for myself, for whoever, what kind of timeline are they you know, looking it's, at? It's basically one to two day installation. It kind of depends on what they have in That's the quick. bathroom already. But yeah, we go in there with a licensed plumber, carpenter, electrician, and we get everything done within a day. Sometimes I have to go back on the second day just to tie up some loose ends. But one day is generally the install time. And the, the conversions that you can do, you can take a look at somebody's existing tub or shower and decide whether it can be made in, you basically it's almost like a cutout, right? To make it yep. easier to walk yep. into a, a shower or bath. Yeah, a cutout, yeah, to make it easier to get in and out. Um, you know, everybody's bathroom is shaped a little different. Everyone's needs are a little different as to how they're gonna get in and out. So yeah, I come out there and I take a look with them really have them tell me what their needs are and then show them products available to help them for what they're looking to do. Because the there are walk-in tubs, tub to shower conversions, which we showed some of, or you can insert um, into a current tub or brand new tub, obviously is an option too, depending on your space. Absolutely right, yep. Anything that makes the most sense for them, anything that can fit in their budget, sometimes it's budgetary that determines what they're looking to do. And you know we have options that fit all budgets mm -hmm. in that regard as well. How about size-wise? I mean, looking at some of the, the tubs, the actual tubs that you're putting in, do they take up more space? They usually take up the same space. They're putting the footprint of the tub that's in there, so they fit right in there. There's no extra you know, um, work that has to be done as far as carpentry to get them in there or whatever. They're designed to fit right in that spot. So. Nice. And there's some nice options, I think, too, in front of color. It's funny that the one you brought in front of us here, I think, is perfect for every Packers <laughs> fan. Um, but some of them can be made in, in beautiful colors, fun colors like this, or beautiful colors to match the existing right, bathroom. Right. It doesn't have to just be a stainless steel look, mm -hmm. institutional look to it. These also, if you can touch it and hold it, you can see it's uh, got a grip oh, to yeah, it. Oh, it's so got a nice grip to it, yeah. Hand on it as if your hand is wet or soapy. Um, you know, here's one that's more of a white color or off-white. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it can yeah. be in any color. You know, we can make them to match the decor of the bathroom. You know, make it a little fun, something like... Um, green and gold one that Themed. we saw there. Yeah. Love it. Um, before we give the information real quick about how much can someone expect to spend if they're interested in these options? 
You know, it really depends on their needs and what they're looking to do. Um, if we come out and we just do a grab bar or something, it's about $90 install, you know, real nice and easy. Um, what we can work within their budget to get them whatever they need so we can go from $90 on up, really depending on what they're looking for. That's great. Yeah. And right now you have a special offer. Mm -hmm. First of all, people can call for a free, no obligation consultation. And if you call before the end of the month, you call walk-in tubs and mention the morning blend, you can get a $50 of free gas with the purchase and installation of a tub in insert or get this $500 worth of free gas with the purchase and installation of a walk-in tub or one of their shower packages. Here's how you reach walk-in tubs of Wisconsin 262-443-3950 walkintubsofwisconsin.com and if people call for that free no obligation consultation do they sometimes see you come out to their house too? Most likely they will see me. I will be the one. I'll answer the phone. I'll set the appointment with them and I'll come out and see how, what they're doing and what they need and help them out in the home. Yep, that'll be me. All Great. right, so make Thanks, Sean, Sean some cookies. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Get the coffee, Bruin. Thanks so much. Right. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.